These are my amazing students. The future of this world. Uh, we're doomed. Hello, everybody. I'm Kylie Keen, and welcome back to Papers Grade, please. This is Hyper High School, where the hyperest students of them all exist. And by hyper, I mean not very smart. We're going to continue grading our students' papers and uh, see how low they truly can go. I'm scared. What causes erosion? Wind, moving water, all of the above. Actually, I believe that's an A+. Plus. Frank, I think that's your real name. Rocks are made of minerals. True or false? I actually don't 100% know that. I would say true, but like, what if there's something else that is in rocks? I don't know. I'm gonna say that this is wrong. F. Okay, I was right. He was wrong. Who's the smart guy now? Wait, I'm the teacher. I should not be mocking my students. What landform has a peak? Plain, mountain, valley. Yo, Cindy, if that's your name. You know what? Scratch that. That's not your name. Your name is Unicorn Head. <laughs> You got it. A plus. Well done. Liam, Josh, and Sandy. I called her Cindy. I was close. The questions are definitely getting harder, which is embarrassing <laughs> for me because up to this point, I've been making fun of my students for not being able to answer these questions. And now I actually might find myself having trouble answering these questions. Either way, let's move on. Oh, it's volcano time. I love volcano time with... with Diver Stacy. Why did I give these students these ridiculous helmets? I, I just, I'm not sure what I was thinking, but also it is pretty sweet. You're just a monkey. You're a straight up monkey. Who are you? I don't know. You're monkey person. <laughs> this is so good. Oh man. We need to uh, change up their, their masks, I think. Uh, th I think there's more options that we can play around with. Hello, Shrek. Welcome to my swamp. And by swamp, I mean classroom, obviously. Uh, the volcano one, pretty easy. Doesn't really uh, challenge me because all I have to do is press the buttons. But also when you think about it, it doesn't challenge the students at all either because I'm telling them exactly what to do. Maybe next time they can figure it out themselves. Although if we do that, we'll probably just stare at each other forever. All right, Danny boy, <laughs> you have a fishbowl on your head, man. Complete the word, apple, A plus. Wait, what? Am I dumb? Don't answer that. Hold on. How did he? Why is that wrong? This is going to haunt my dreams. Okay, I'm actually going back into my recording to see. Oh, oh, I see where I went wrong. <sighs> yes. To answer your question. Yes, I am dumb. <laughs> he put two L's, not two P's. Well, there you have it. F for me. I rushed to conclusions and gave a student who didn't deserve it an A+. Plus. Form a word with the following letters. He literally just wrote the letters underneath the letters. To crow! You know, what could we form with that? I mean, I see taco, but that's just because I'm hungry. But that's not five letters. We're not using the R. Can we actually spell a proper word with this arrangement of letters? I don't... T-C-R-A-O. Racto. That's not a word. I may have given football kid uh, a question that's impossible to answer. What can you spell with this? I really don't think there's a word. Croat? Arcto? Arctu? Crado? That's not a word. I don't know. I just pulled up a Scrabble cheat website <laughs> where you can put in the letters. So T-C-R-A-O. Search. Oh my gosh. Apparently Tarek, T-A-R-O-C, uh, but also actor, actor. Yeah, you dummy. Why couldn't you find that you could make actor with, with this arrangement of letters? I, man, I am dumb. Well, anyways, um, that's an F for you. Circle the adjective in the following phrase. The car is fast. Yes, you did it. Mia, well done. I can't believe that I didn't notice that Apple had two L's in it. I'm feeling bad. I'm a bad teacher. No wonder these students are failing so bad. I'm teaching them. Oh, it's recess time. Let's break up some fights. I love breaking up fights. That's that's my favorite pastime. Could you imagine if you were in a school where kids were fighting like every few seconds? That would be awful. It was nothing like that. I mean, a fight was like an event when I was in school. Of course, it never truly happened because it always got stopped. But these kids are fighting all the time and they're fighting with themselves. 
There, there's clones of them. No wonder they're so angry. They don't know who the real person is. Putting us just loading up this insane hyper school with a bunch of cloned students. It's weird. Oh yes, Fishbowl Dan. It that is not Antarctica, man. Okay. I do know that country. It's Brazil. So I'm not a complete fool. I'm gonna try to make up for my my previous mistakes. Let's see if my geography skills will uh will play out well here. Kenyatta. Yeah, there's the the little squiggly line above the N. You didn't know that? A plus. You did it. South Africa. Oh, I beat you to it. I like how I'm competing with my students. Could you imagine if you had a teacher who was trying to beat you to the right answer? All right, well done, lady. You did it. Amelia? No, you are Shrek. Elijah, he looks so dejected, but at least he has his fish friends always with him. Mark the one famous for his paintings. Okay, I mean, it's not a super hard question, but it's, you know, we're getting up there. We're advancing. Beethoven, Van Gogh, or Einstein, it's definitely Van Gogh. So, monkey guy, you're you're brilliant. Red is a cold color. Is that like an actual thing? Like, can you say that color is cold, that color is hot? I would always associate red with hot. I can change the lighting of like, my, my studio lights and like I can make them cold and when it's cold look I'm like blue and then when it's hot I'm like orange look at that so I would say red is a hot color F all right I was right Mark the percussion instrument, flute, guitar, bongo drums. Percussion. I don't know like what the exact definition of a percussion instrument is, but I think it's one that you hit. <laughs> I'm not musically inclined at all. So I'm just gonna give her an A and move right along. Well done, monkey. You're not Oliver, you're monkey. Circle the verb in the following phrase. I ate a burger today that is incorrect. Ate is the verb, F. Connect the drawing with the right name. What are you doing, man? Unicorn lady. Okay, so you drew like insane squigglies and I have to follow the lines. Clearly, you don't know the difference between a fish and an apple. That's gonna be a hard F right there. Which option better completes the phrase? I blank with my hand. I touch taste here with my hand. <laughs> Listen, it's not working for some reason. Uh, Yeah, that's correct. Well done. Diver Dora. I like that. Diver Dora. We got alliteration. Okay, so can we change up any of the hats? Do we have some some fun hats? I, I don't want to ruin what I have going here, though. I mean, come on. That is just... What if we turned every single student into a monkey? Oh my goodness. I am brilliant. Everybody... And, and now I'm definitely not going to be able to tell the difference between them. The only thing that is different about my students, if I turn them all into monkeys, is... Uh, um, is their shirts and their pants, I guess. I don't think I have enough money quite yet, but we'll get there. I'm so sorry to do this to you, Fishbowl Dan. Elijah, that's not your real name. Dora the Diver, you're a monkey now. So I need to make 260 more dollars. And then the whole class are monkeys. Oh, gym class, I love this. This is the dumbest gym class ever. <laughs> this they're all just staring at me. Oh my gosh. Oh, this was an incredible idea. I'm so glad that I did this. All right, let's do a little side squat here. And then we'll put our left arm in the air and then our right arm off to the side. And then we'll stand back up and, and then do one of these. And there you go. Exercise. Look at us. Look at us exercising. We're doing it. The monkey crew together forming the most elegant dances in gym class ever. It's a beautiful thing. And there you go. I, I have enough money now to fully monkey eyes my classroom. Unbelievable. Welcome to living life as a monkey. And then you, Sandy, you're now a monkey. Oh my goodness, this is fantastic. Play. Hello, green shirt monkey. Which is heavier, water, lead, cotton candy? I really wish you would have picked cotton candy, but you are right. Well done. Oh, also green shirt monkey. Which resource is renewable? Wind, coal, silver. It's wind. Coal is kind of like the opposite of a renewable resource, but you know, at least you marked something. That's gonna have to be an F, I'm sorry. Gravity in the earth is stronger than in the moon. That is correct. Red shirt monkey guy. Well done. Oh, Amelia, Sandy, and Liam. I like how the picture of the monkey head doesn't even fit in the little circle. Fantastic, absolutely fantastic. These questions are getting too hard. Oh, are you Shrek 
girl. Underneath the monkey mask, she's still wearing that, that Shrek hat. Guaranteed. All right, you did good. A plus. Oh. <laughs> Very clever idea in hiding the fact that your egg has cracked in half. I appreciate, like, you used it as, like, a mouth. But, uh, that's a bad, that's a bad grade. I'm sorry. This is adorable. A plus. You're, you're all fantastic. I love all my monkey students equally, even the slightly dumber ones. Name three animals which live specifically in the Arctic. <laughs> well, pink shirt monkey person, um, you're, you're not wrong. If there were three polar bears, they, they could be living in the Arctic. Um, but I think what we were asking for is three different types of animals. Like polar bear, that's one. Sure, maybe a penguin, that's two. And then a seal, that's three. I love this answer. And for this, you get an A plus. Congratulations. Look, she, she, she's like, ooh, I got away with it. <laughs> so naughty. And you know what? I'm tired of these smart kids thinking they can rule the classroom. You think you're so smart, red shirt monkey guy? <laughs> Yeah, that's the flag of Japan, but you're wrong. Take that. My test was correct. I'll sue you. <laughs> no, you won't. Here, have $30. There you go. We all win. <laughs> Complete the drawing. North, west, south. You think you're so smart, blue shirt monkey guy? F. How dare you? No, here's $30. There. I got sued for $30, I guess. <laughs> We're changing things up. I'm giving Fs to all my smart students. And you know where the A's are going? To the creative ones. Like three polar bear person. Complete with the appropriate number. Oh, so you figured it out. Look, you, two, four, six, eight. Yeah, wow, amazing. F, take my $30, I don't care. How many days are in one week? Too many. You're right, you're absolutely right. And A++ for the sad face. It would have been a triple A++ if you drew tears. I'm just saying, but there you go, A+. Well done. Ooh, I got away with it. Connect the same letter. Yeah, A goes to A, B goes to B, but you think you're so clever with all your weird squigglies. F, you could have drawn a straight line. No, shut up and go to detention. That's such a rude thing to say. Also, why is shut censored? Really weird. Now I'm watching the ad, but maybe this is actually detention. This is where I send the kids when I send them to detention. Send them off to a decrepit building in the freezing snow. That'll teach them to answer questions correctly. <laughs> That's right, get out of here. Oh, I like how I get a nicely done. I got a nicely done for sending that kid off to detention. I should get fired for sending that kid to detention, but don't tell anybody. How does this work? Have I ever failed this? You know what? Let's fail it on purpose. That's right. If you wanted to pass this class, maybe you should have figured out how to do it without me telling you exactly what to do. We're going all blue. It's an all blue day, pink monkey person. And now we're doing the complete opposite of what we're supposed to do. Look at this. There you go. I flipped it up. I flipped it around. F. I like how I tell them the wrong thing to do and they all get Fs. Brilliant. All right, it's time for English class. Stephen King wrote Billy Jean. Great song, Stephen King. He was such a talented musician and dancer. I remember watching Stephen King do the, the moonwalk. <laughs> No one is getting these references. Um, it's The Shining, so this is incorrect. But you know what? Maybe at some point Stephen King, Billy Jean, or wrote a character named Billy Jean, or wrote the name Billy Jean, or listened to the song Billy Jean. So you know what? A plus. Well done. Mixing blue and yellow makes orange. If you squint hard enough, yes, yes, it does. A plus. Cubism is a phase. Cubism is a famous movement of. I actually don't know this. I'm gonna assume art. That kind of makes sense. But let's be honest, yellow shirt monkey guy. You were just guessing, and I'm calling you out on it. If you had picked culinary, I would have given you an A plus. Why? Because you make cubes when you cut stuff, when you're cooking. That is a scientific fact. And for this, you get an F. Don't sue me, here's $30. <laughs> Bribing my students, incredible teaching ability. Oh, it's school dance time, I love this. No dancing too close to the other monkeys, all right? <laughs> this is so good, and it's made so much better by the fact that they are all monkeys right now. Oh my goodness, this is a beautiful, beautiful situation. Hey, hey, kiddos, you stinky monkeys, you stay away from each other. Get out of there. All right, well done. A plus for me. All right, it's geography time. I'm a little scared. It's not America. Let's face it, it's wrong. 
But if we turn it upside down, kind of sideways, and then we separate it from the rest of the landmass, it's kind of shaped like America. So you know what? A plus. Well done. Very creative thinking. I'm proud of you, monkey person. Japan. Wow, Japan is much bigger than I remember. But you know what? If if you consider that Japan and Russia are actually neighbors, maybe Russia is actually just a really, really big Japan. A plus. Fantastic. Fantastic work, purple shirt monkey person. USA. No, you should have said America. F. <laughs> Oh, they didn't even try to sue me. They just gave up, put their hands in the air. You think you're so smart. Animals that eat other animals are called carnivores. But you know what? Is a plant an animal? Does a plant have feelings? I like to think so. That's right. When you're eating a salad, it's screaming out in pain. <laughs> Those poor lettuce leaves. They had families. So you know what? In some ways, herbivores are eating other animals. A plus. Which instrument measures earthquakes? It's a seismograph. As someone who lives in California, very familiar with those things and earthquakes, unfortunately. But you know what? You know what? A seismograph probably uses some form of radar to measure earthquakes. And the person who reviews that and says, wow, there was an earthquake there is indeed a scientist. 100% A+, plus. well done. People who study fossils are known as paleontologists or physicists. Honestly, I don't even know what a physicist does. I know they study physics, and maybe if they're a human physicist, humans have bones, okay, hear me out. And technically, that's what fossils are. They're just bones. They're just bones that are underground and very old. So you're wrong, F. Don't sue me. Here, have $30. Shh. When something is not fair, it is fairest, fairer, unfair. I mean, let's be honest, he's wrong, but we'll turn it upside down. A plus. Circle the noun in the following phrase. The game is good. No, it's not. F. <laughs> I just disagreed with the statement, not with the question. Connect the drawing with the right name. No, your squiggly lines are too confusing. You should have just drawn straight lines. F, get out of my classroom. You're fired. Wait, I'm fired. We're all fired. 